Hey guys, this is Adam Lane with Pocketnow.com and I'm going to show you a little bit about Microsoft's new service called Office 365 and how it works with Windows Phone 7. So let's check it out. First off, let me show you the Office 365 service, a little bit about what that comes with and how it works on a tablet PC or a regular desktop. So first off, I want you to know you can join the beta for free, but only one of these versions will work with Windows Phone 7. See it says getting started with small business or get started with enterprise. What they don't tell you is the small business beta version right now does not work with Windows Phone 7. It's been disabled, but it should be able to work when it's finished and it's you can pay for it. So if you want to test Windows Phone 7 with Office 365 right now, you should sign up for the Enterprise version. So that's what we've got, and it's working. So there you go. First off, let's see, here's the admin page for the Office 365. You can add all sorts of users, all sorts of management features here. That's uh, pretty straightforward. You can download uh, setup files that'll help make it really easy to set up Outlook and Office 2010 on a desktop. You also get the Exchange 2010 account. So this is the web version. All your email, calendar, contacts, and tasks. Right here, accessible from any web page. And of course, um, this you can just set up in Outlook 2010, right down there. All you have to do is log in with your username and password. Same with Windows Phone or any phone, any mobile phone that supports uh, Exchange. It's going to just set up right from the username and password. So that's real easy. We also have uh, your link integration up here. I can set which uh, status I am. And there's a link down there. This is for instant messaging between corporate users as well as uh, video calls and conference calls. So that's a cool feature too. I can close that. And we also have a SharePoint site. So when you sign up for Office 365 you can have you can add a bunch of users and they can all have access to a SharePoint site. You can set different access permissions so some people can only access certain parts and there's tons of stuff you can do here so let's just look at this so we got tons of little lists here's some tasks you can create tasks and assign them to different people so there you go you can do description all of this stuff here's a calendar So this is a shared work group calendar that all the people with access to it can you know add and uh, see the appointments. You can also connect it to Outlook, go to Excel or Access. Lots of cool stuff. Let me go back. Oh, here's some other libraries. I have a pictures library. I made that. So this can hold pictures. There's one loading and you can add any of that anything there we also have a shared documents library so this is where I uploaded some documents and we can actually click on one and this is going to open the web app so there's my SharePoint notebook in the SharePoint note, uh, the OneNote web app and we can see which things synced over. Some of them didn't work right. There's some files attached. Let's go back. So there's a Word document I can open in Word or edit in browser. Some pretty good web apps. I've also uploaded 
a PDF and a picture to this shared documents library. And uh, this has great integration with Office 2010 as well. So see, here's my OneNote notebook. I can access the SharePoint notebook. And there it is, it all syncs up. And here is the SharePoint workspace that I have set up. This is a application that comes with uh, Office 2010. And I can access everything here as well. So there's my shared library. And there's the same files. So I can open this. And it'll open in Word. There it is. Now all I have to do is edit it and then choose save and it'll go back into the SharePoint site. Really great integration. Now if I make a new Word document, it's really easy to put it onto SharePoint. I just go to Save and Send, Save to SharePoint, and it's already set up my shortcuts, so there it is right there. I just select that and click Save. So There's some really great integration there. Okay, so how does this all work with Windows Phone 7? and the Office Hub. Well, here we are. This is the Office Hub. Uh, don't forget the Exchange 2010 account. You can really easily set that up. So that'll get your email and contacts and calendar right in here right away. But for the SharePoint stuff, we have to go into Office and we have to go to the SharePoint section. And we have to go to Open URL. And then we type in the SharePoint URL, which is Okay, it's not. It's going to be this URL up there. And once you type in the URL, it's going to go to a web based login page where you enter your username and password. And then, if all goes well, it'll show up with something like this. So, there's my SharePoint workspace, the one that we were just looking at on the tablet PC. You can see announcements, form templates, links. Shared documents, there's 15 there. And tasks, let's look at tasks. So there's the task that I created. And unfortunately, you can't edit this or anything. It's just uh, readable. So you can read what that is. And same with other things like links. I can't click on it or edit it. It's just there and I can read it. So that's a slight limitation. But let's look at the shared documents. Woo! -hoo! Look at all that. So shared documents come over just fine and we can see that this picture in the shared documents library is going to load. It's uh, refreshing. There's the picture in my shared documents library. And all these files work fine. There's the Word document. It's connecting, it's downloading it. Making sure it's got the right version. Give it a minute. Okay. There we are, there's the Word document. I can edit it. So there's some edits, and then I can save, and it's going to save back to SharePoint. If I do save as, I can only save it to the Office Hub. There we go. It's going to save back to SharePoint. And that's done. And we have PDFs.
There's a PDF loading in Acrobat Reader right out of the Office Hub. Okay, and everything else works there. Uh, one other thing that you want to note, if I create a new document, I cannot save it to SharePoint. I can only save it to the Office Hub. And then from there, I can only email it. So that's a little limitation as well. Now one thing you notice, when I go to the SharePoint workspace, remember that pictures library that I made? It's not showing up. So it would seem that some libraries do not show up when you sync it on Windows Phone 7. So all those pictures are not going to be able to download here. But pictures in the shared documents library do. So you got to put it in the right type of library for it to sync. Now, of course, this is all beta, Office 365. Um, we're not sure exactly when it'll be out. It's supposedly going to start at $6 per user per month. We'll see if that's true. Right now, it's just in free beta. And this only covers the current Windows Phone 7 features. So you'll probably see more coming soon in the Mango update. Anyway, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up if you did.